what is up everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to the vlog thank you guys for watching and subscribe please hit the subscribe button down below now today's video is going to be about my hvac controls not really the controls but the lights so right now the car is on and you can see that i have 183 miles left in my range left 7 23 in the morning but at night you can't see this i'll show you right here what i'm talking about all right guys so we see my radio that's on right here but we don't have any lights pretty much this is my hvac controls this is the only one that's on you can't see the reset mode reset airbag right here but you don't see the time the mileage i'm getting or the fuel capacity that i have left so with the lights that i just bought hopefully we can see let's see you see right there the different mode miles per gallon i'm getting the averaging 15. i replace the lights hopefully it will turn on this is the only one that works with this these will all light up okay so i went on amazon and then i found this little baggie and i'll show you right here this is if it can zoom in i'll take a better picture and the link where i got this from so these are all the lights that i need to replace this so i have the bulbs i think there's three up here one 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 and two so we're gonna replace that today so it's gonna be one take hopefully and let's see let's set the camera up right there cool okay so i was told it's only one screw and they said just pull this out okay so you pull up and then out for that and they said a phillips screwdriver Let's see if it's right there phillips right here that's the only one you need to take out so i'm trying to put the car off lefty loosey righty tighty don't lose that there's that little bad boy put that in the cup holder and then we just pull out that's what she said <clears throat> oh fuck me sorry okay well there's a head unit's easy too to take out okay okay and you have your pinch right here let me see one harness push down i'll show you what the camera looks like so that's how inside the two screws and then the harness let me set the camera back up so i can try to take that out Oh, there we go. So we have one, two for the window, defroster, and then recirculating. I think those are flatheads to take out. Did I bring a flathead with me? I brought a Phillips with me. Good job. And a flathead. Let's see if that's the right to get that out. Let me see. Let's do these little ones. Is that perfect size? No. I need a smaller Phillips. I'll be right back. Let me go inside the house. All right, I'm back. So I have this flathead. And I have a Phillips of this size too. Right here. There's like glasses, tools that I have. Because I have four eyes. Put that in there. Twist, so it's not even a, a quarter twist, and then it probably just comes out. No? Yep. So this is for the recirculating. It is gonna be one of those little green ones. I'm gonna put that to the side, and I'm gonna put you back in. <laughs> that just fell on the floor, guys. Uh, so, put that in there. So this is the new one. And this is the old one. So let's put that back in. Oh, so 
upside down. I was like, what, what the heck? So I'll put you in there. And then... Yep, you're fine right there. So let's take this one out. Put that down. That one falls out. It is the same green. We're gonna grab that from the baggie. No, it didn't. Okay. So, I thought I put it in the right way. Okay, so, do you see how the, if you can see, there's like a groove inside, like an oval shape? Line it up. I thought I put it in there like that. That's how I saw it. So, put that in like that. And that's how it locks in. Okay, so those two are in. Next, we're gonna go for the off and on of the air conditioning, the HVAC. Same thing, the core twist. Homeboy falls out, and this guy is a yellow gray one. Let's put that down right there. I'm gonna save these, the ones I just used. Just uh, just in case I can't find this website again, I, I'll, I'll know what they look like. But here's this. And here is what it used to look like. This one's burnt out. But yeah. You see the little groove on the light? I'm going to put it in just like that. Drop in. I wonder how much the dealer would cost for us to do this. Legit, I'm flying by with this. Let me take that one out. This one is a different color. Huh. That, the two are gray, and that one is green for some reason. But I have two gray ones. So I wonder if they use a different bulb in there. But... Make the two gray ones out right here. I'm gonna take this other one out also. That's interesting. Green. It's supposed to be gray. Okay, let me see. Put that in. And make it the other bulb. Put it in. And then we twist. And then we twist. Those are in. Now we have the bottom two left. Twist and twist. There's one, there's one. That one is stuck for some reason. There's a little guy right there. Okay, and then grab those two little ones. The two gray ones in this. This gray one and this gray one. We're going to put it in like that. And then find the groove. Put it in like that. Get my 
My dog's barking. I'm sorry, guys. Those are locked. And we have this little bad boy down here. What other one do we have that I miss? So I have one. That's all I see that I missed. This one right here. So pull this out. What is controls that one? Oh, that's the reset mode. Okay, cool. Doesn't want to come out. You tighten it and then loosen it. Come on, guy. Stuck, stuck. There you go. Little green, little green guy right there. Put this down and grab that little green guy. So this bag came with two extra. I believe the other Forerunner models have more lights on their unit right here. But it's pretty cool. I forgot how much I paid for that bag, but it's gonna be linked down in the description. I'll take a screenshot of what I paid for it too. Today's date is May 6th. 2022 and i bought it probably like three weeks ago and i'm barely doing it now just had no time come on oh it's locked in okay so we got one it's upside down so let's turn it this way we got the reset mode then we have the temperature the mileage, the time. Then we have the high low of the AC. Then we have the temperature AC right here. And then we have which direction it's gonna go in, lights. Then we down here we have uh, rear window defroster and circulation. Pretty cool. So all we're gonna do is plug it back in. This is all one take. I'm gonna cut out the me walking back into the house to get the flathead. I don't have a link for those tools. Just over time, I accumulated those from wearing glasses and then breaking. Probably got into like 99 cent store or something like that. But this is gonna come off again, so. Check out the wiring, the head unit. I wonder if it's just those two bolts and this comes out. Because I'm going to be installing a new head unit soon. Out of my Camry. It's going to be a single DIN. Not a double DIN because I don't, I didn't have one for that. Boom, just pushed it in. Where's that screw? Get your Phillips. And put it back in the hole. That's what she said. You tighten it. So in that end the night, I'm gonna turn the car on so you guys can see how it looks. Let's check it out. Let the edit buttons turn on. The time, perfect. You see it on. Look, that light turns on right now, so you can actually see that. Go off. Go on. I'm so happy right now. Just the little things, guys. But at night, I'm gonna show how this looks. Okay, so we're in my car. So let's turn it on and let's see. So before, we weren't able to see this at night. So that works. Bam! We got all my lights on. That is awesome. That is awesome, it works. So the only light that didn't work, I think, is these right here, which is the... to change. Yeah. There's a bulb in here. 
the resets mode. Those are not changing anything. The light did not work on that. It worked on the airbag and the rest. Okay. I wonder why. I'll check that out. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. If you subscribe, please subscribe button down below. And once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.